What's up guys, welcome to another Minecraft video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a modification and addition to my 1.9 Minecraft Piston Elevator that I posted a few days ago. It's pretty simple and well, let's get to it. Alright, so over here we have the original Minecraft Elevator. It's pretty simple and it's very resource friendly. You just press the button, takes you up a floor, and you see we are going up. Sometimes it does glitch. Um, that's just server client error. Just press the button again and you'll go up. See, you go all the way up to the top. So there's eight floors on this elevator. Um, this would be really good for mine, uh, mine shafts. If you're going straight down and you're wanting to branch mine, you can just do a four by, uh, two by two tunnel here, branch mine off, go up another floor, two by two tunnel, branch mine off, so on and so forth. Uh, that's what I'm going to be using this one for uh, on my survival world. Um, over here we have something that I think would be a lot better for a uh, base because of the height between the floor and the ceiling of the next floor. And as you can see, it does, it's two pistons. Again, sometimes it does glitch. Just press the button again. But as you can see, we can go all the way up. And what it's doing is it's firing. There's two pistons in here that fire. Over here we have another one that if you are building slightly larger rooms and you need more room between your floors, uh, you have this version. And this version uses three pistons. As you can see, we are going up. And the main thing is you just gotta make sure your timing's correct. And last but not least, and I only build one floor, but um, these are all modules, so you can stack them on top of each other in different configurations. You don't have to use all one. You can have one or two single floor modules, and then you can do a double floor, triple floor, and this is the quadruple floor. So this is my the largest you can go while still keeping the footprint of your redstone in a four by or four by four area. And as you can see, this takes us all the way up to the top. So uh, very simple, very modular. Um, hopefully they don't patch this in uh, any updates. Hopefully we have this for the rest of the time, and this is actually supposed to work this way. So as you've seen in the previous video, uh, the redstone for the single floor elevator version is just two repeaters, sticky piston, two redstone, non-sticky piston, takes you up a floor, pretty simple. Um, the link to my video showing this module is in the description. Um, the set, the two floor is the base module and then coming off of this piece of redstone you just do a little uh, half slab line up, putting into a repeater that's set to three ticks and what I've discovered doing this elevator system is there's a rule of three. Each repeater needs to have is needs to be three or each piston needs to fire three ticks after the pe previous one. So this one's on three ticks and this has no delay. So this one gets put on three ticks. And this is that's just different modules up. For this one, it's the same base module, same uh, piston up or repeaters up to here. Coming off of this, you put another one on three running into a block up a little bit up to here and then this is on four ticks giving you a total of seven I believe four five six seven yes so I think you might be able to get away with slowing this one down but this seems to be which to work um, it's better to have these pistons firing a little slower so that you don't glitch and fall back down than it is to have them fast um, in a single player world you could probably do the rule of three and have three ticks in between each piston. It gives enough time for the uh, for you to get pulled up through the block before the next piston pushes down, otherwise it just pushes you back down. And this last one is the same as the three and then coming off of this you just come up here into here and then you have two repeaters set to four ticks and this last repeater just running in giving you a, a nine tick delay. So that's how you do it. And to show you that these modules can be attached to each other, I have built this kind of makeshift elevator that takes a place of a couple of them. As you can see, that was a two piston extension. That's just a one piston extension. And then this is our four piston uh, elevator. Um, I believe you could technically get this spaced up. Um, the higher the floors, if you wanted one button to take you all the way up, the higher the floors, the longer the delay needs to be. 
and the more repeaters you'll need, which makes it more resource intensive, but hey, to each his own. Um, just remember the rule of three between pistons deploying, you need to have at least three ticks delay. Um, you may need to uh, add that up to four as you get higher, but yep. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. Um, I'm working on with a friend of mine on making a selectable floor so you can press a button at the bottom, press the button, and it'll take you up to the floor you decided. But that's going to be a lot more redstone, definitely not survival friendly, but it's an interesting idea that we're working on. And I will uh, make a video of that if we get it to work correctly. So far we've only got it to work for three floors and, well, in that case, doing something like this would probably be easier than just because you can just get in, press the buttons up to the floor you need. So, as always guys, thanks for watching. I um, hope you guys liked the video. Please share it, tweet it at all your favorite other Minecrafters. Let's get this elevator design out there and in use because I think it's a really good elevator design and I definitely think a lot of people can take uh, advantage of this. Um, we did find another bug with these pistons that I will be updating a video here in the next few days once we get some little bugs that we found worked out um, of using this same principle in a item elevator. So that will be coming soon that you will have a item elevator soon that we can use using the same principle and hopefully they don't patch that either but when's that video so stay tuned subscribe to the channel and look for that video coming soon and as always guys keep it top notch